Hey, what's up, you guys? So, uh, it's uh, Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Only three more days before the Pokemon Go Fest. I'm here in Florida right now, South Florida. Um, after I finish my trip down here, catch on a flight directly to Chicago Friday night. Hoping, uh, hopefully, the flights go right. But uh, be in Chicago Friday night. Getting ready for Pokemon Go Fest. I can't wait for it. It's going to be an amazing trip and everything like that. There's a couple of things going on right now uh, with Pokemon Go. Um, I'm going to explain that in just a second. And also start off with the raid battle descriptions on what you should use as far as raids. Um, just to check out my little place that I'm here with. You know what I'm saying? I get a full kitchen in here. Uh, nice little sitting area TV there's the bed come over here and everything like that and outside I really don't have a good view except for the highway <laughs> and they're building a super complex like an entertainment um, place around here to where you can just get out the hotel and go straight to this area where it's gonna be restaurants and um, businesses and shopping and all that stuff right there so they're hard at work working on that it's raining that way not raining that way yet but we'll see I still need to figure out how to get my uh, one hour pass from Sprint um, it seems like nobody knows how to do it or where, or where to go I've been in three Sprint stores in Dallas Nothing. Nobody knew, like one of them didn't even know what Pokemon Go Fest was, and he plays po Pokemon because he was like, "What level are you?" And I'm like, "32." And he's like, "Oh, I'm 27." I'm like, and you don't know what Pokemon Go Fest is? You're sleeping on a rock, bro. You're sleeping on a rock. Anyways, there's a Sprint store right up the street from the hotel, so I'm gonna go up there and see if they have any of the um, bands to get me in an hour early. If not, hopefully the flight that I get in on uh, Friday to Chicago, I'll be able to get my way over to a Sprint store and see if I can get a um, band. So let's get the rest of this uh, video started and post it out about the information that came out to you last night and also the information on rates so you guys can get some rates done. Cause I know some of you guys are skeptical of doing rates um, cause some of you guys are still playing by yourself, which is fine. It's perfectly fine. I do it still a lot, but I have found a group um, to play with to do some uh, level three and four raids. But uh, let's get into this, all right? All right, so hopefully this works out for what I'm doing right now. Um, let's get to the news that popped up last night. Um, and I don't know if you already heard it. You probably, if you follow the um, app actually online uh, on Twitter they did uh, do put a, a update going out there on what's coming on so uh, what's going on is right now they're pushing um, an update to the system uh, version 0 0.69.0 0 for Android and 1.39.0 for iOS. So, um, this is what it says. Trainers, Pokemon Go is in the process of being updated to a version of 0 0.69.0 for Android and 1.39.0 for iOS devices. Below are some of the release notes and comments from our development team. Okay. Um, one, add icons to the Pokemon information screen to indicate how the Pokemon was caught. Added the ability for trainers to spin the photo disc at the gym after completing a raid battle, which is great because afterwards you're unable to spin that that disc, which is uh, it's, it's pretty bad because. What if you just if you was there at the beginning? So now you gotta wait an hour before you can spin it again. Pretty good. All right. Um, added the ability for trainers to send berries to their Pokemon defending gyms through the Pokemon info screen when they are not nearby. 
motivation regain would be less effective through this method. Um, I guess that's a good thing. I mean, I had a Pokemon, and uh, since I travel a lot, that that's really good for me. Um, I had a Pokemon in here in South Florida, and you know, couldn't feed it no berries. But I had a, another Pokemon that was in uh, Texas, and people were feeding it, and I didn't have to worry about it. But then it just came out. But I do need to say this: the updates and the information saying when your Pokemon needs a berry needs to be pushed out a little bit better because right now I barely get those notifications it's just all of a sudden my Pokemon is back in my uh, my bag so uh, added the ability uh, oh yeah okay added the ability for trainers to give berries to Pokemon defending gems if their motivations meter is full that's just a waste of berries why would you give a, a Pokemon that's full? <laughs> Anyways, um, improved Pokemon collection screen search functionality. Okay. Uh, fixed an issue where trainers were unable to complete raid battles started before time expired on the map view. Uh, didn't have that problem. I usually got to the raids before then. Fixed an issue where Pokemon are not properly returned to their trainer after defending a gym, which is great because a lot of people, uh, there was a glitch where you would put your, you know, one of your best Pokemon in a gym and all of a sudden he's kicked out and you don't, you don't get it back. So, glad to have him. And then various bug fixes. Um, there's, <laughs> where's the comments from your development team? None. Alright, so that's the update and, uh. I'm actually going to see if it's live and active. I guess we'll just wait and see. But I, you know, I figured they'd be there's some other stuff in this um, update, especially since uh, Pokemon Go Fest is this Saturday. They're probably putting the, the finishing touches on the sprites and everything for. The legendaries that are supposed to be coming out and uh, all the event stuff. So it's good they doing the uh, update on the servers and everything like that. So that's the update. All right. So before I um, get any further, uh, the update has been data mined by both Silk Road and Pokemon Go Hub. So let's get into that real quick, real quick, before we get into the rest of the stuff. So, um, Go Fest Discoveries, as I'm reading this from the Silk Road. Um, but it says one mystery that has been frequently pondered over here at the Silk Road is how Niantic will manage to lock out spoofers and other cheats for, for in person events. Um, Several different editions, seemingly and many explicitly designed for the event check-in process. Right off that, there's a QR code scanner. So we should be able to get a QR code scanner onto the uh, game. Uh, we'll ensure how this, we're unsure of how this is activated or utilized at the time, but it's sure enough, the new library has been added to the client called Zing, ZXing which is a barcode QR code reader that integrates with Unity. There's also a special Pokestop involved with the check-in process and other mechanics at play, but that's all we're gonna get into on this front. No reason to give illegitimate players any ideas. Overall, the check-in system will be a heck of a lot more secure than checking a name off of a clipboard, which is great because I don't know if the band actually has like a scanner that you have to scan. Well, it does. It does have a scanner. It mentions that, but how does that re you know coordinate with your game um, uh, gameplay? How does it coordinate with the game that you're on? Um, special event badge. We can now confirm that there is a Chicago 2017 event badge. We already knew that was going to come because it said it on the website. We won't post the badge asset itself as we rather leave it 
as it is and allow our travelers to earn this badge and experience it live. We'll be sure to get it shown and wants to roll up that, whatever. I'll show it to you. Um, exclusive braids, event participants only or a broader application. A new type of raid is solidifying and it's called exclusive raid. Here's the look. Um, here's how it looks. Right now, but these special raids have their own exclusive raid invites and tickets, which will appear and have details, a picture, uh, congratulatory text, and an event time, and even a link to Google Maps directions. Not unlike the Silk Rose, Silk Radio's map link on it. They have a new thing. I haven't been on Silk Road in a while, but I've seen it. Um. Could these be actually used for legendaries or local events, uh, community-driven meetups? We don't know. We'll see. Event Poker Stops and Gems. New code was added and appears to support event-specific Poke Stops. Whether these will behave any different from standard Poke Stops, we can't say, but it will be handled server-side regardless. Event Poke Stops will likely have an event-specific assets as the image and one has in fact appeared in the APK's image assets. It also appears that gems can now be closed for those not participating in the event. They have a new attribute called in event and appear to have a new topper for the state. Gems have historically had two topper types, logo and raid, and now the third is appeared called hidden, which we believe will be may be either what appears when viewing event gems as a non-participant or may be used for something else like special events. Now smaller changes. Uh, remote berries, which I did say that you'll be able to send your berries off to your Pokemon, um, but they're not as effective as if you were right there at the gym feeding the berries. And, it have, and you, if you feed, fed berries to any Pokemon, you can notice that um, it's a uh, the first berry usually gives a big chunk of health back, a uh, motivation back, and then the ones uh, sequentially after that don't. But it's good to keep feeding, right? Um, Pokemon Go Plus tweak tweaks which is great because I've been looking for these new Pokemon Go Plus states um, have appeared for the peripheral including plug-in not ready inter internal error not supported not implemented yet and more hopefully these point towards more intelligent reconnection behaviors or maybe eventually new functionality badge rework badges used to be complied into a giant sprite image now all badges have been broken apart into standalone assets. This hypothetically um, enables many more badges to be added, perhaps even dynamically without a client side update in the future. Might be beginnings of badges for accomplishments or events based size go fast. Um, health bar fixes code involving the health bar has seen some changes, so. If you can spot the difference, travelers, perhaps this may smooth out some rubber banding we see in battle. Like so, like you know, if you're battling in the raids or even in battles, and you get hit, but you hit them first, your energy goes down, and then all of a sudden it comes back up. Um, so like that rubber banding, like that. Hill animation fixes account is now kept for hill animations. Uh, hopefully this helps speed up the potion applications translation localization and fixes um, formatted text different bold italics and new sponsor type okay and the last but not least uh, legendaries get ready travelers this is still speculation but we believe at this point that the odds of legendaries appearing at or very soon after GoFest are extremely, extremely good. Here's what's been added. A new attribute for all Pokemon called is legendary or mythic. A new warning message 
if you try to transfer a legendary, same way as if you try to cha uh, transfer your favorite Pokemon, and from what I hear, your shiny Pokemon too, uh, you get a warning before you transfer it. Um, but I don't have a shiny yet, so still looking for that shiny Magikarp. A new error message if you try to deploy a legendary to a gym called Disable Legendary Key. A new check for raid bosses called Get is Event Legendary. And a few new images assets have been appeared in this APK, including which we will not include to preserve the experience. A new legendary icon of Lugia a, a, to mark legendary raids at gyms. A new victory banner to appear above the gyms after successfully completing a legendary raid. Pair those with the legendary raid medal that appeared in the last APK update and we'll be starting to see a complete picture. It now appears likely, highly likely, highly likely, all right, all right, all right, that legendary raids are ready for a server side update to begin appearing. Get excited travelers, they're at our gates. So, uh, you know, Dropes was the one that's the executive of um, Silk Road. Um, and as you can see, I am including the picture of a legendary raid pass so you can see what that is. But, um, past the update, now on to the rest of the video.